Hello there, it's me, Eric Weathers, and I am back with another time-lapse drawing video. This time it's the Flying Fortress cover artwork that I have uh, put together for the Flying Fortress remastered Indiegogo, which is currently live on Indiegogo. Check the link in the description below and make sure you back it. It is about a B-17 crew on a top-secret mission to bomb Hitler. And they are successful in that mission, but on the return trip home, they sort of stir up the hornet's nest after dropping their payload, and an experimental fighter on the attack shoots them down and they crash land in a medieval world. Uh, this book is over 200 pages. The story is already done. I just needed to do this cover that you see here, and uh, I'm going to update a few things in the art that have been bothering me. And I'm going to um, re-letter the thing, and it'll be ready to go uh, out the door and into your hands as soon as possible. Uh, so what you're seeing here, I do my digital layouts in Procreate on the iPad. I was working on two different cover variations. That's why you see that red letter A up in the corner there. I did two different variations and put it out on Twitter and sort of had a vote. I'm like, which one do you guys like better? Are you like A or B? And uh, A won with about, oh, 70% of the vote, if I remember correctly. It was, uh, it was about a, it was about two thirds of the vote, I think. Uh, so I do a really rough layouts and then I refine. Essentially, these are like rough pencils, but I like to really sort of nail things down digitally. I don't like to go to my paper and have a lot of mess so I'll get lines uh, pretty tight. You know, maybe at some point I'll skip the penciling stage and just lightbox inks like this. But for right now, I feel most comfortable working, um, really, really laying stuff out, um, you know, like this with a uh, digitally, just so I know where everything goes. Uh, so we got a lot of characters here. The big guy in the middle is Steven Reynolds. He's the captain of the B-17, the guy... Uh, on the left there with the uh, M2 is Red. He's he's one of the door gunners in the plane. The, the fellow there on the right, I have trouble figuring out what pose I want for. That's Lieutenant Lawrence Bell. He's one of the Tuskegee um, airmen, and he plays a pivotal role in the book. Along the back, you've got Mason with the sword, Glosson with the bat, and Adler, the lady there. And then the big character in the back, his face, that's the, the plague soldier, sort of the stormtrooper of our, of our story. Uh, so what I did between here and there is I printed that out. It was drawn at 11 by 17 within Procreate. I printed that out and taped it to the back of an artboard, a Strathmore 200 series, I believe, uh, and just lightboxed it and put in some put in some pencil mileage on this piece. Figured out where my shadows were going to go, and you know, ultimately it's a, it was a fully finished pencil piece, and you'll see at the end of the video what that looks like. So I spent a lot of time putting in a lot of a lot of the detail that I like to do. Uh, I use a a lead holder, two millimeter lead holder. It's pretty standard. Uh, it's sharp. I think I'm using a two H lead on this, and I take that what I consider rough uh, layout underneath, and I refine it with the pencils. Um, I did not record the inking of this, so you're you're just going to see the time lapse of the pencils. And the uh, well, the layout and the pencils. So, I I don't know why I didn't record the <laughs> the inks, but it just it just didn't. You know, I was just busy. I was I was working through it, trying to get it done. And uh, I think that's okay because I'll still sh I still have a scan again. You'll see that towards the end here. Yeah, um, that's me just refining things, uh, light boxing in different. Different stuff that were that w that needed a bit more detail, and then the big guy in the back there. I have to use some circle tools and whatnot to flesh out his ominous look. And then there's lightning at the end too. I don't know if that's in here. We'll see. Um, the Adler character, when I penciled her, uh, the pencil fa phase and the ink phase, the the face changes. You'll see that in the. I have a little transition. You'll see that here in a sec. But I, I just wasn't happy with the way her face turned out. So between the pencil phase and the ink phase, I, I adjusted things. So that almost wrapped up. So 
there you go. There's the pencil scan, full 11 by 17 artwork. As you can see, Adler's face changed there. And then here we go, covers by Kyle Ritter, and really made this piece sing. Anyways, that's the video. Um, like I said before, Flying Fortress Remastered is on Indiegogo right now. We're past $8,000 uh, as of this recording. And at $10,000, we are going to start unlocking some stretch goals. So make sure you back the book. And if you can't back it right now, share it. Tell your friends. Tell everybody that Flying Fortress Remastered is, is here. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.